Hello everybody and what is going on? So today's video is sponsored. A lot of companies have contacted me in the past but I've never really taken anybody up on their offer because I wanted to wait for the companies that I would actually use. So this is where Shop Tagger comes in. This is definitely an app that I would use on a daily basis and would highly recommend to people. But wait, you might be sitting there thinking to yourself, well that's all well and good yeah, but what is Shop Tagger? Well, I'm gonna tell you what ShopTagger is. So ShopTagger is a shop assistant Google Chrome extension. You download it, it lives on your browser and you can use it on any clothing website. So all you do is go shopping as normal and if you see an item that you like, you can add it into the ShopTagger website and from here, all of the clothes from multiple websites can be found in one place and you can further organize this in different lists. And what's even better is the fact that ShopTagger will actually notify you when one of these items go on sale, or if they're sold out, it will tell you when they're back in stock. So all you have to do to get started with ShopTagger is go onto shoptagger.com. We'll tell you what they're about, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get started. You can sign up with your Facebook or with an email address. I've already signed up, so we're gonna just jump into the dashboard. What you can do from here is you can get the button for Chrome. Just click get the button connect the button, press the tag, it will take you to the Chrome page, add the button to Chrome, add the extension, and it is that simple. And in my personal opinion, I just think it's super handy to have, just so you can have all of the items that you like, all in one convenient place, you can organize them, and if they do go on sale and they're reduced in price, you can cop that item quickly. And they will notify you in one of two different ways. You can either set up your email to get notifications, and you can also set up push notifications on your mobile phone, so you can catch these deals on the go. So if this is something that has piqued your interest, then check out the link in the description. There's a direct link to download ShopTagger so you can get started and save those items before the post-holiday sales. Mad. So today we are gonna be talking about my top 10 streetwear items for the Christmas wish list. It's the list you have to give to Santa so he stops giving you the Lynx Africa gift set and where he can start bringing in that heat. So like all of my shopping lists, today's video is gonna be ranked from lowest price to highest. Article 13's done one over on me. I will be leaving every one of these items in the description down below. So if you do like anything you wanna to add to your own personal wish list, they're all there, conveniently placed. So without further ado, let's jump into the first item on my Christmas wish list. So the first item on my Christmas wish list are these Stance socks. In my personal opinion, you might as well put a good pair of socks on your wish list because nine times out of 10, that's what you're gonna get. But I tell you what, I have actually been sleeping on Stance. I've known about them for a little while now, but I haven't really been paying attention to their socks. And while researching for this video, I've stumbled across a number of different Stance socks, which I quite like. These ones are my personal favorite at the moment, the Samo sock. I'm just a really big fan of that whole graffiti punk look. And Stance do a number of styles, so I can guarantee that you can find a pair that suits you. And they do range from like, oh, these are actually sick, to these these are funny but sick at the same time. Their collection varies. It's kind of like if Funkos were socks. These socks will set you back 15 pounds. That's a Waitrose meal deal. So a great stocking filler. So let's put an end to bad Christmas socks and replace them with some sick off stance socks. Socks? Moving on to the second item on my wish list. So the second item on my wish list is this Carhartt work in progress great sweater. And I tell you what, Carhartt was definitely an unexpected come up when it comes to my own personal favorite brands. They just do sick off essentials. I think they rival champion really well. And something clean and essential like this is just a must have in my opinion. You've got the plain gray sweater. You've got the embroidered Carhartt logo in the middle there. Just spread across the shirt, just unapologetically. I think everybody needs a couple of big logo sweaters in their collection. And this one will set you back a nice 55 pounds from 75 pounds so it's already on sale come on this is definitely one of my favorite affordable sweaters at this very moment in time so hold tight the Carhartt sweater moving on to the third item on my wish list so the third item that I've put on my wish list is this North Face backpack and there's a number of reasons why I want this backpack firstly it's because I need a backpack secondly it's because I like the color of this backpack and thirdly it's on sale as well was 85 pounds it is 
now 55 pounds. That is a bargain. That's a two hour parking permit in London. When it comes to backpacks, I'm really picky. I've always had Adidas or Nike backpacks, but there's just something about these two brands which is very limiting. For example, I feel a bit funny if I'm wearing an Adidas backpack with Nike clothing and vice versa. I don't know, it's just, it's just a thing. I also really like the color of this backpack. I normally go for black ones, but adding a little bit of color like this just sort of makes it stand out a little bit. And of course, because it's North Face, they think you're gonna be climbing mountains, but everybody knows you're just gonna go down road with this. There is a 10 ton of unnecessary compartments which you can fill with whatever you want. So quite looking forward to that. All in all, it's a clean design. I really like it. And that's why it had to be on this list. So. Hold tight the North Face backpack. Moving on to the fourth item of the day. So the fourth item of the day is these Nike Vapor Max Plus. And I'll tell you why I absolutely love these shoes. They kind of remind me of my three favorite Nike shoes. The Nike TNs, the Nike 95s, and the Nike Vapor Max. That cool new Vapor Max technology, making washing detergent pods every streetwear essential. I absolutely love the color of this particular Vapor Max Plus. It's a relatively new shoe that I don't see a lot of people rocking. In, but I do think it has a potential place in a lot of people's wardrobes. I think it would just bang in a number of different styles. The price tag of this absolute unit has jumped a little bit from our last entry. This one will set you back £169. I don't have a price joke for this one, but in my personal opinion, it's just a sleek looking shoe. And if I got this for Christmas, I would not be complaining one bit. Mad. Moving on to the fifth item of the day. So the next item on my list is this Ada Era turtleneck shown in an absolutely blind white colorway and the reason why I like this turtleneck so much is because Ada Era has just landed on my radar I know I might be a little bit late to the party here however I'm here now and I really appreciate this turtleneck the brand itself has really caught my attention recently they've got like this whole vintage but Windows 95 98 type aesthetic but have kind of melded it together which is quite cool everything from the logo to the designs of the sweater just screams windows and the reason why I haven't picked the sweater over the turtleneck is because because I'm picking items that you can buy retail right now. It looks very, very clean, very simple. Of course, blazing white, tiny little logo in the corner there. It's one size as well, so I think this might be a little bit oversized for me. It's got a price tag of 185 pounds. I don't know whether that's fair or not, but it's definitely one of the more reasonably priced designer brands. Moving on to the sixth item of the day. The next item that I have to show you is this misbehaved Shibuya hoodie. And come on, you know why this is on the list. It's a designer brand. They've got an anime graphic on the front. It's black. I'm surprised I haven't bought this off my own back yet. But yes, I remember talking about this item in my top 10 style brands of 2018. I actually mentioned this piece of one of the items I wanted to buy from Misbehave. I just absolutely love the graphic on the front. I don't know if this character is from any anime whatsoever or if this is just a brand specific character, but it's absolutely fine with me. So the front graphic, absolutely sick. I love the back print as well. This particular hoodie is 225 euros. A little bit much for a hoodie, but again, we're on the designer side of things now. Which brings me nicely into the seventh item of the day. So the next item on this list is a cold wall hoodie. Now a cold wall has been around for a little while now and they've just been climbing in popularity ever since they've shown up on the scene. I really like the theme of their clothes in general. It looks big, it looks baggy, it's got the little logo in the middle there. I absolutely love symmetrical small logos on things so this hoodie definitely caught my attention. This particular hoodie will set you back 285 pounds but wait, it's on sale. It used to be 365 pounds, reasonable, but it's mad. Moving on to the eighth item of the day. So the next item I want to show you for my wish list is this bear brick. Now, for those of you who don't know what bear bricks are, just imagine any of your favorite cartoons, popular people, put them on a Lego type bear thing, and that's basically a bear brick. Like, I could have explained that better, to be fair. So, bear bricks come in a number of different styles. You can get these little keychain ones, you can get the 100%, which is like that big. You can get the 400% ones, which you put on tabletops, so like that big or you can get a thousand percent ones which are more like this big and they make your place look super hype beast and sick especially if you've got the bape ones but this particular one I found on end you will recognize the print all over the bear from The Shining and I just think it's a nice creative homage to the movie and it's a thousand percent big this particular bear brick will set you back 499 pounds which does sound like a bit much but when it comes to bear bricks they can go for a lot more so this is quite mid-range and on that expensive note let's move on to the ninth 
item on the wish list. So the next item that I have to show you is this Vetmon Inside Out Shark Hoodie. Now the whole Inside Out trend has been floating around for a little while now. Vetmon have really been taking this on. But this particular hoodie I really like for a number of reasons. I just like the off-white color of the hoodie and of course the subtle shark graphic. On the sleeve you've got the little Vetmon logo and of course some more graphic on the back. It's all kicking off in this hoodie. It's all about detail. Of course you're not really going to know that this is Inside Out at first glance. It's one of those hoodies you have to look at for a little while and be like, you know what, yeah, that's the wrong way around. And that's what I like about it. It's not obvious that it's inside out because if you make it too obvious that it's inside out, then it makes it look like it's not meant to be inside out. I don't know, these high fashion guys are really good at playing mind games. Again, there's not much else to say about this hoodie apart from the fact that it's priced at £518 and that's the sale price. It used to be £610, so it's practically a bargain. Moving on to the last item on the wish list. And of course, it had to be these flipping triple S's. If you frequent my Instagram, any Q&A or just these videos in general, all I ever talk about are the Balenciaga triple S's. Top 10 items I want, the triple S. Top 10 style trends, the triple S. Top 10 video games of all time, the triple S. It's mapped. I could bang on about these Balenciaga triple S's for days, so I'm not gonna bore you that much. Imagine dad shoes was a Dark Souls level, the Balenciaga triple S's would be the final boss. And on that salty note, that is where I'm going to end today's video. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these items was your favorite. If you wanna add anything to the list, then comment what you would want for Christmas in the comment section down below. And with all of that being said, that is where I'm going to end today's video. So, if you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you want to subscribe and see if more of what I do, because I do a lot of fashion-based stuff, lifestyle-based stuff, and style-based stuff, then you can by using a subscribe button that could be located anywhere on this webpage here. Share this video with your friends, Waffle Gang Gang, Cozy Boys, you're done though. And now, that is everything. Bye.